Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nell and this is Little Yellow House Crafts uh, and I'm here for another cross stitching update. Um, apologies that I couldn't post yesterday. I, I've been posting every other Saturday but yesterday was just kind of a crazy day for us. So I'm posting Sunday instead. Uh, day late but I hope you don't mind. Um, how are you all doing? <laughs> We're doing fine. Um, we've had a pretty normal two weeks other than um, earlier this week on Monday, my oldest son had a surgery. He had a little surgical procedure. It was planned, we knew about it, very minor procedure and he's 100% fine, but that kind of threw off the beginning of our week a little bit. It was weird doing um, going into surgery right now with everything so closed off and quarantined. He was only allowed to have one person with him and that was only because he was a child. Um, adults aren't allowed to have anyone else with them when they go in for surgery. He got one adult, myself, but my husband couldn't come along. Um, it was just kind of a strange experience, but all's well that ends well. He did great. He handled the anesthesia really well. He was recovering just fine. So. Uh, that was kind of an interesting experience. I'm trying something a little bit different with the lighting today and I'm hoping um, it's looking better to me than it has in the past. So I'm hoping that this will will do better with lighting in here. I'm still learning how to film in this space. But anyway, so that's kind of how we're doing. Um, Missouri is beginning to open up, beginning tomorrow. Um, we're still going to try and stay very conservative um, with going out and about, but it is nice to know. It's just a relief to me to know that things are beginning to open up and that the economy can maybe slowly grind to a, a normal pace again. Um, yeah, we don't have a lot of plans for the summer. Um, in August, we're planning to go to my parents' house for a family reunion with all of my siblings and their kids. Um, and hopefully by August, things will be normalized enough that that won't be an issue, but who knows? So anyway, that's just kind of how we're doing. I'm still stitching like crazy. A um, mania has begun and I'll show you what I've started for mania. I only have, I've only started two new projects because today's May 3rd and I'm only starting something every other day. So I may, well, anyway, we'll talk about that in a little bit when we talk about mania, but that's kind of fun. Um, I wanted to start off my video by thanking everyone who entered the giveaway last or two weeks ago. Um, I loved reading all of your comments. There were over 300 comments, which is a lot for me. Um, I don't usually have that many comments, so that was really fun. Um, a lot of you said you were new subscribers, so welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me. Um, and it was just really fun to hear which piece you thought I should stitch, which the, I think the winner was Where Liberty Dwells, um, but honestly, it was pretty even across the board. There were a lot of people who loved Where Liberty Dwells, there were a lot of people who loved Put on the Hat, and there were quite a few of you who thought I should do um, Live Within Your Harvest. Um, so I'll show you what I did. <laughs> regardless. Thank you for sharing your opinions with me and thank you for telling me about all your favorites for stitching. Um, I've got my YouTube random comment picker here and we're gonna pick a winner this morning. So I've already entered um, the my video and I think, I've never used this before, I think I just hit this start button and we go. So I'm gonna hit start and it's going and the winner is, oh boy, I don't know. Oh, well, this this person won, but they didn't give me uh, their favorites. This winner was Q L L A M S. Q L L A M S, uh, and their comment was: "The colors on your projects are absolutely amazing. Loved seeing all of them and seeing you get excited over them." <laughs> A lot of you commented on how excited I got about the colors last or two weeks ago. Yeah, most of you thought it was funny. Some of you were like, wow, you're a lot. <laughs> I mean, this is me. I, you know, here's the thing. Random segue here. I am totally fine with not being everyone's cup of tea. Honestly, there are so many floss tubers out there. There's someone for everyone. And honestly, if you don't dig me, that's totally fine. 
I'm not offended. I know I can be kind of a lot sometimes. I, I have big emotions and I'm pretty extroverted and that's just who I am. If that's not your cup of tea, that's fine. Just, you know, go find someone who is more your style. No offense taken, but anyway. Um, Q-L-L-A-M-S. I still, you know, you won the giveaway. So if you would please reach out to me by email, you can email me. I'll, I'll post my email in the description box below, but um, my email is yellowhousecrafts at gmail.com. No spaces, no punctuation, just yellowhousecrafts. There's no little in um, the email address, even though my, my um, YouTube channel is little yellow house crafts, the email is just yellowhousecrafts at gmail.com. So email me with your name and your, your mailing address. Oh, I have a hair on me somewhere. I hate that feeling. Um, and please, when you email me, let me know what your favorites are, what your favorite fabrics to stitch on are, what your favorite threads are, what your favorite kinds of patterns are. Um, like I said in my last video, I, I um, described that in my last video. So if you let me know, then I can send you a package. If I do not hear from this person within a week, is that fair? Seven days? If I don't hear from this, this commenter, Q-L-L-A-M-S, by next Sunday, then I'll pick a new winner. <laughs> we have lots of people who entered. So thank you everybody who entered the giveaway. Thank you for all of your wonderful comments. Let's talk about stitching. I have a few finishes, more than a few. I think I have six or seven again. Um, but starting from now because of stitch mania I won't have quite so many so let's just talk about what I finished um, in the last two weeks mm, the lighting is still not great but it's better first was I finished my September cottage this is country cottage needleworks cottages of the month and this is the September cottage so cute and you saw this last week as a work in progress. I had started it. It's not ironed, apologies. But here is my September cottage. The green is not showing up really well on the video. It's pretty obvious in real life, but eh, whatever. Super cute, love the colors, really enjoyed stitching. I mean, I love stitching all of these little cottages and now I'm down to three left. October, November, December. Yeah, I only have three of these cottages left and I'm done. Um, I already know how I'm gonna fully finish them. The problem is is that I can't get any finishing materials <laughs> right now uh, because I can't go to like Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby. <laughs> so I don't know when all of these will get finished. I hope soon because I'd love to be able to start putting these out every month because um, I only have three left. I'm doing awesome. I'm doing awesome. <laughs> okay, next finish. This was originally planned to be a mania start, but then I realized that I would rather stitch the May one of these in mania, May, and I needed to get April done, so I just went ahead and did April, and that was my Lizzie Kate um, Flip It Blocks with Charm April. And I showed you guys the colors last week for this one, and I got really excited about the springy colors. And I think with good reason, because look at how cute it turned out. Let me just make sure the charm is straight. Oh, how cute. <laughs> so this is Lizzie Kate Blocks with Charm um, April. And this is so sweet and so springy. Those colors are fantastic. I just love it. So here, I'll let you look a little closer. Really sweet. There's a little umbrella charm hanging right there. These are really cute. Again, they're tiny. They're just bitty, bitty, bitty. Um, they're pretty quick to stitch because they're so small and they're just really sweet. So Lizzie Kate Blocks with Charm April was finish number two. <laughs> finish number three. Also wanted to get April done so I could work on the May one of these during Mania and that was my Hands-on design, a year in chalk, April. So, so cute. Hello spring, white and yellow. And here it is. Hello spring. 
pretty much the same as all the rest. Stitching these. Oh, I haven't been saying what I've been stitching these on. Let's go back really quick. Okay. My monthly cottages. I'm stitching all of these on 28 count cashel linen in the color Dirty by Zweigart. All of them. All 12 are stitched on 28 count linen Dirty by Zweigart. And their 28 count is called cashel linen or cashel linen. So if you see cashel or cashel linen, that means it's 28 count. This one, my Lizzie Kate blocks with charm. I'm stitching these on 25 count mushroom Lugana by Zweigart. And I'm stitching these two over two on the 25 count. Someone was posting in the Stitching with the Housewives group recently about stitching on larger counts. And would you, on larger counts of fabric like this, would you typically stitch two over two or would you stitch one over one? And I commented and just said, you know, I'm kind of, enjoying stitching on these larger counts. It's a nice break from the tiny stitching that a lot of us do a lot of the time. It's kind of relaxing. It's, you know, with patterns like this that are kind of cutesy and aren't really detailed in like color gradations or anything like that, I think these lend themselves so well to larger counts stitching two over two. So, I don't know, stitch whatever you want, but this is 25 count Mushroom Lugana by Zweigart. And then these I'm stitching on 32 count Belfast linen by Zweigart in the color charcoal. Um, if it says Belfast, it's 32 count. Cashel is 28 count. Belfast is 32. Edinburgh. I don't remember what the 36 and 40 count linens by Zweigart are called regardless. Here is um, a year in chalk by Hands on Design April and I have it on the same little piece of fabric as March. These I actually placed correctly. Remember last time when I did January and February and January was right and then February was like like way off in the wrong spot. But that is March and I finished April. So that was my finish number three. And then my last two finishes, okay, so I had five finishes in the last two weeks. So a little bit less than I had before, but that's because of mania started. Um, and these are slightly larger. <laughs> okay, so when all of you wanted me to start all of the different um, Around the Holidays by Hands on Design, I couldn't pick which one I wanted to start, so I started and finished two of them. <laughs> and I'll be stitching the last one for Stitch Mania. I am out of control with the starts. I just but I'm finishing all of them, so I don't know. This one was the winner. Oh, nope, wrong. I grabbed the wrong one. This one was the winner, Where Liberty Dwells. There you go. Most people wanted me to start this one. So again, if you haven't seen these before, the pattern comes with two options. You can stitch a drum, which looks like this long and skinny and then finish it into a drum or you can stitch the flapjack pillow she calls it um, and I've been stitching the flapjack pillows because I have fears about finishing a drum. <laughs> Someday I'll do it. Someday I will do it but not today is not that day. Um, so yeah and they're great they come with um, the velveteen the hand dyed velveteen by Lady Dot Creates um, so that you can finish the the drum top or you can it goes on the back of the flapjack pillow so I will be using that obviously um, I just stuck the sticker on here I chose to stitch this on 32 count vintage blue whisper Belfast linen by Zweigart um, and here's what it looks like I showed the colors for this last week so if you want to know color choices go to last week's video um, however I will say that most of them were Victorian motto so they're not gentle arts or classic color works or weak dye works I have a lot of Victorian motto threads and so I like to use them. But here it is. Where Liberty Dwells by Hands On Design. So cute. So I did a couple of slight changes. The first one is that I changed the flowers. They were originally white instead of this gold color. I wanted them gold because I wanted them to look like Black Eyed Susans. Um, my grandfather who passed away Oh, a year and a half ago now, um, he, no, two years ago, two and a half years ago now. Wow, 
time just flies because I was pregnant with Jamie at the time. That's crazy. My grandfather, who passed away two and a half years ago, um, was a gardener, uh, a flower gardener. Um, and his front yard and backyard were always so beautifully kept with flowers. And he, he lived in Southern California. Um, and so with the weather there, you know, his flowers were kind of specific to that area, but he always had these big, beautiful black eyed Susans out in front of his house. And so I just wanted them to be black eyed Susans. So I, I made these flowers black eyed Susans. And then the only other thing I changed was that there's these little like squares i don't know if they're supposed to be like quilt squares or something i don't know there was there's one here and then there's one charted to be in the middle of the grass and i kind of didn't like it in the grass because i i wasn't sure what it was and it just felt a little random to me so i left out the one in the grass and just did solid grass and then i put the one there and i like it i think it looks good my favorite part of the stitching of the whole picture i think is all these fireworks i think those are so fun um and the, the little white picket fence is sweet. I used, for the white picket fence, I used Weeks Dye Works white wash. It looks so good. You can see it kind of goes from like pure white to kind of cream. And it just makes it look like an old picket fence. So if you need a color that looks like kind of vintage rustic white wash, Weeks Dye Works white wash is a great choice. It looks really good. So that's where Liberty dwells. Like I said, stitching this on 32 count Belfast linen in vintage blue whisper. So it's just ever so slightly modeled. Um, and it's so cute. I really, really like it. And so thank you to all of those who voted for this one because I stitched it and it's already done. <laughs> and then I started put on the hat and I finished it. <laughs> so this is put on the hat by Hands On Design. This series is called Around the Holidays. Yeah. And this is obviously the second one now I have stitched. And again, you have the pattern for the drum, which is long and skinny like that, or you can stitch the, the flapjack pillow. So cute, comes with some beautiful purple velveteen um, by Lady Dot creates and the color I chose to stitch this on is 32 count stormy night Belfast linen by Zweigert. This is another one of those faux hand dyes. Those are my colors. And stitch this on stormy night and I love it. Looks so good on this fabric. Put on the hat. Again, just totally awesome. I'll bring it up a little closer. Really cute. Um, I didn't change anything on this pattern. I stitched it as charted. Um, little witch putting on her hat. So, so sweet. So that's put on the hat and the colors I used, cause I didn't talk you through these last time. I used Rise and Shine by Victorian Motto for the orange. I used um, Gentle Art Sampler Threads Ohio Lemon Pie for my yellow. Gentle Arts Spring Grass for my green. Weeks Dye Works Purple Majesty, fabulous Halloween purple. So, so good. Um, Gentle Arts Sable, which I think was the called for color for the words, which I just happened to have, so I used it. And then um, I used DMC 310 for all of the black because there's a lot of black in this and I just wanted some nice solid black. And then for my white, instead of using DMC white, I went with Classic Colorworks Bamboo, which is a slightly off white. And that's just for the book pages. It just makes it a little less glaring, um, but still looks white. So that was put on the hat by Hands On Design. So obviously, sorry, go away notifications. Okay, so that was finish number five for the last two weeks. And that means that I will be starting um, Live Within Your Harvest for Stitch Mania. And I'm really excited to start that one. I really love the colors in that one. So those are all my finishes. Okay, whips. Stitch Mania has begun, which means I'm gonna have to be okay with not finishing so many things for a while. Uh, I think I'm okay. I think I could do it. Um, but I've only started two new projects because it's only the third day of May and I'm stitching, I'm starting one every other day. So I have two started. And then also, um, as I mentioned in my last video, I'm also working on four of my bigger 
current whips, like things already in my whip bin um, every week. And so let's start with that. I pulled out, for the first week of May, I pulled out my son's stocking. This is Christmas Eve Fun Stocking by Dimensions Gold Collection. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, these are gorgeous stockings. However, I was telling my husband yesterday, I am struggling to enjoy stitching with five strands of thread on my needle. It's just, oh, it's not my favorite. I'm working up here right now in all of this background. And the thing about Dimensions Gold or pretty much all Dimensions kits is for background, they often will just call for a half cross stitch or what's sometimes called tent stitch. And, uh, and to give it kind of a, a watercolor like background so that the foreground stuff really pops and it's genius it totally works it gives the piece so much dimension however when you're only doing half cross stitch on what is this 14 count i think this is 14 count, 16 count okay when you're when you're um doing half cross stitch on 16 count in order to get a full coverage they will often have you put like four or five or even six strands of floss on your needle to stitch with and it is a bit of a chore. Let me tell you, it is not my favorite. So I've been working up in the sky and you'll be able to see what I've done. So, sorry, my string is still hanging on. So before I pulled this out, I had all of this lighter blue purple done. And what I've been filling in is this dark purple across the top. You can see I only have a tiny bit left of this dark purple. And then I need to go in and fill in some other colors here. But I wanted to get the darkest color in. Just have a tiny bit left. And this is five strands of floss on a needle. It is not my favorite. <laughs> it hurts my fingers after a while. I have a little like finger grip that I can put on to help me pull my needle through without having to pinch it so hard. And that helps, but ooh, it's not my favorite. But my son Jamie needs his stocking. All the four of us, my husband and I and my two older sons all have their stockings. We all have our stockings finished, so he needs his. So I'm powering through. I'm gonna keep this out probably until next Saturday or to Friday. Friday or Saturday about a week after I've started and my goal is to finish the sky before I put it away um, and I think I can do it if I put an hour into this every day I think I could do it um, these go this part goes very quickly because it's all half cross stitch and it's very limited colors you know you're kind of cross-country stitching but there's only like four or five colors and so you can just do, a, do all of one color in, in a couple of hours. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm using in, I'm using an enormous size 22 needle um, in order to fit all five strands on here and to be able to stitch with them without them shredding to bits. Um, and so the needle's really huge and feels clumsy and awkward. It's just not my favorite, but it will get done. And once it's done, then I can move on to stuff with one or two strands again and I'll enjoy it more. But so that's the, that's my first whip that I'm working on for this week for Mania. And then my two new starts that I have so far, the first one is my May, Lizzie Kate May for my Flip It Blocks with Charm. And there it is, carrot and flowers and a watering can and a cute little fence, so, so sweet. And here's where I am. There is a thread because this is as far as I got in the first two days because I worked on this. I started this May 1st and then I worked on it May 2nd and then I had to put it away because I was starting something new this morning. I got up this morning and started something new. Um, and so this is as far as I got, which is pretty far. I got these two blocks completely done and I'm working on the carrot. And you can see I have brown thread trailing for the dirt. But, um, so that's my Lizzie Kate uh, May Blocks with Charm. I'm stitching this with mostly Victorian Motto threads. Um, I won't go through the colors. The orange is missing because I stole it for the project I'm going to show you next. But I'm using the same orange for both of them. Um, but anyway, those are some of the colors. That was my first start. Got two days of work on that. And then my start that I've started for today 
I just couldn't wait any longer. And I started Country Cottage Needleworks um, Seasonal Celebrations Summer. Sorry for the glare. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, I hear my baby. Jamie, mama's busy, honey. Go find daddy. Go find daddy. Okay, well, just wait. He'll be out in a minute. No, you can't. Go downstairs. Mommy's filming a video. Kids. Um, here is Summer. I started it. I just got the banner um, pennants done. Uh, I just wanted to, I wanted to do that completely first to make sure the colors played well together and I love it. I think it looks so, so good. It looks so good on this lemon yellow fabric by Spygart. This is, I put the sticker on here, 32 count lemon yellow fabric Belfast by Spygart. And I showed the colors last week. But I'll show them again really quickly. Just really summery. Love it. So cute. So fun. And that's it. That's what I've started so far for Mania. Um, I will continue on and I'm enjoying it. And yeah. I only have one little bit of haul. And that is that I got my um, April um, threads from Victorian Motto. So I thought I'd show them quickly. We got Lovely Lavender. That's gorgeous. <laughs> Toffee. That's a beautiful, like, caramely brown. Oop. Victorian bunting. Ooh, love that dark red. That's a pretty red. like that. Got two yellows, lemon zest and flaming yellow. And you can see the kind of difference. One's a little lighter, one's darker. And then the last one I got was lime fizz, which is a beautiful light green aqua color. Lime fizz. So those were my, whoops, that's all my haul for this week. It's just my Victorian model threads. You guys know that I use them in practically everything I stitch, so I love them. Thank you, Nancy, for making such wonderful threads. That's all I've got for you guys today. This is a shorter video than last week, but that's okay. I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you're enjoying your stitching. If you're participating in Stitch Mania, tell me down below what you're doing, how you're doing your mania. Are you starting something new every day, every other day? Is it a whip mania for you? Are you just doing whips? Um, let me know down below. And uh, yeah, that's all guys. Take care. I hope you have a great couple of weeks. I'll see you in about two weeks with another update and we'll chat soon. Bye guys.